Hi, hello everybody. My name is Bram Besmet. I'm the CEO of SolVenture. And today I want to talk to you about the benefits of leading indicator forecasting for your overall company performance. At SolVenture, when we talk about company performance, we like to talk about the supply chain triangle, which has three corners, service, cost, and cash. And in general, we see that companies struggle in balancing the triangle. And why is balancing the triangle important? Well, it uh, translates into the following financial metrics. Service is in fact a driver for the top line, for your net sales or your sales revenue. If you combine the net sales with the cost, you get to a margin metric like the EBIT. And if you look at the EBIT over the cash that you employ, then you get to the return on capital employed. So the heart of the triangle is the return on capital employed. Why is that important, return on capital employed? Well, let's assume that I have two companies generating 100 million of EBIT. The first company can do it with 100 million. The second company needs only 50 million. Then probably I want to do the second investment. Why so rosy for us is really the metric if we look at company performance. How, what is now the impact of leading indicator forecasting on the company performance? Well, in the end, with leading indicator forecasting, we want to reduce the forecast error. We want to reduce the forecast error or improve the forecast accuracy. Well, if we reduce the forecast error, what will be the impact on the triangle? First of all, if I reduce the forecast error, if I have less uncertainty on the demand, I can reduce my safety stock, so I can work with a lower inventory or a lower cash. So that's certainly a first impact. Second, even if I have a good calculation of my inventory targets, of my safety stocks, there's always things I have not foreseen. I cannot cover from the safety stock. In practice, it means that things that are not covered from the safety stock, they will be covered from operations. Yeah. I will do a last minute production, I will do an expedited shipment, so I will have operational firefighting costs. That means that if I can reduce the forecast error or improve the accuracy, I will have less firefighting costs. So also on the cost side, I will have a positive impact. And even there, not all the unforeseen things are covered from inventory, nor can they be covered by operational firefighting costs. So in practice, if I have a bad forecast, I will also have service issues. So if I can, again, improve the forecast accuracy or reduce the error, I will also have a positive service impact. I will have left service issues, which I was not able to cover by the firefighting costs or by the inventory. So this is where the impact really gets visible. Let's start here. So we say it has a positive impact on service and on cost, which means it basically has a double impact on the EBIT. And at the same time, I can do with less inventory, which means that I will have a triple impact on the return on capital employed. So forecast error is one of these things. If you can reduce it, it really touches the different corners of the triangle. And as such, it has a triple effect on the return on capital employed. So that's what we believe companies should be uh, applying leading indicator forecasting for. Uh, and how it impacts your overall company performance. Uh, we hope that was clear and you enjoyed, and we hope you will be back for more.